Who's your MVP right now? Well, listen, I picked Hurts last week, so I'm going to stick with him. He did nothing wrong not to be nominated for a second week in a row. Yeah. From this quarter, they beat Arizona. He did a nice job. Offensive line won the game. I understand the Allen argument. I understand the Mahomes argument. And you want to go there? I mean, we saw the odds, I, and I get it. But Buffalo did lose a game in Miami, and he didn't bring him down the field a couple of times late in the game. And uh, obviously, he didn't play well Mahomes in Indianapolis. And, you know, Hurts hasn't had a hiccup yet. Easier schedule. I understand that. But since I went with Hurts last week, I got to be consistent off a win. I'll go with Hurts this week. Bit of a surprise how well he's played. He won't win the award. But you asked me if I had a pick right now, I'll take oh. the quarterback who's five. Wait, wait, wait. So you're picking Hurts, but you're saying he's not going to win. Well, because I don't vote. But if I was voting, no, I would no, imagine. No, no, no. I know you don't vote. But uh, uh, so I can pick Hurts and yeah. pick he's the MVP. Doesn't mean he's going to win Got because it. the voters are going to go Allen or Mahomes. Okay. But I'll so take the, Hurts. Um, the most frustrating and entertaining thing about you is you use words like consistency and then you're not consistent. You came off a block where you just talked about how the Eagles are loaded at every position. They have no weaknesses. They had a great O-line. They got great corners. They got great receivers. They got a great running game. They got great this, great that. They're so perfect. And then you say that the quarterback is the MVP. It seems like he doesn't need to add that much value if they have so much value elsewhere, which is why I'm going with Micah Parsons. That's the MVP. So, First, we need to decide, is this the award that is the best quarterback in the league or is it actually the most valuable player? And I think that if we're going to be honest about it, and maybe the numbers don't stack up analytically, but if you watch this season, who has made more of an impact on their team? When Dak Prescott went down, we all thought it was over for the Cowboys. We said they were done. And the reason why they continued to win, won four games in a row, or not continued to win, started to win, won four games in a row is because of their defense. And the best player, the quarterback, essentially, of the best unit right now so far in football, the most surprising team, is Micah Parsons. So their whole defense is predicated on him being the second coming, as Stephen A. will tell you, of LT. Their, their D-line is what makes their defense good, and their defense is what makes their offense good. So right now, the MVP no, of the league choice. is what? Not, you said that, that right? yeah, that's good. That's good observation. I don't disagree terrible. with you. That's pretty good. All right, man. I'm nice little, job. If you agree with me, then I got to second guess myself. Maybe Stephen ain't know the answer because I, I don't want dogs. Well, listen, like listen, listen. Answer. I love me some Micah Parsons. That brother's real. But I will tell you this. I'm going to go with Josh Allen for the Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo Bills came into this season as the favorites to come out of the AFC, despite the fact that Patrick Mahomes and Justin Herbert and Joe Burrow and Lamar Jackson were in the same damn conference. Joe Burrow, I'm sorry, Josh Allen showed up with that expectations, and he has answered the call. They are 4-1. and one. They are clearly the best team in the AFC in a lot of people's eyes thus far. He's completing about 67% of his passes almost. He's got 14 touchdowns, just four interceptions, all right? And the people that need to be ramrodded, they ramrodded. They had the Pittsburgh State. We are literally talking about the Pittsburgh Steelers not looking like an NFL team because of Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills toyed with them. You have people that think that the mercy rule was implemented by McDermott because of what they could have done to the Pittsburgh Steelers if they really, really wanted to. We saw what he did to the Super Bowl champions on opening night. If it wasn't for that South Florida sunshine and, and, and Stephon Diggs and them catching cramps and stuff like that, who knows what would have happened in that particular game. You've had injuries on the defensive side of the ball. You're looking at him with Stephon Diggs. You've looked at the elevation of Gabe Davis, okay? You understand what's at stake and Josh Allen has stepped up and shown that this brother is somebody that's big time. Miami wasn't a shining in the moment. We get all of that because of the reasons that I mentioned. But I look at him and what he's been bringing to the table, the expectations that he has lived up to. Buffalo seems destined for a Super Bowl appearance finally after falling short to Kansas City over the last two years. And Josh Allen has everything to do with that. We can't definitively look at a single quarterback in the National Football League and say beyond a shadow of a doubt that they are better than Josh Allen right now. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.